it's Paul Bayos from GreatDad.com, and I'm here with Al Wong, who's Hi. a writer for GreatDad.com, and we are looking at a, an Instant Pot, which I got for my birthday, so this is not from a manufacturer, okay. but we're doing an unboxing, and... Uh, that explains the, the gift. Yeah, yeah. These, these Instant Pots have uh, you know been all the rage for about a year, so I got one for my birthday. It seems the prices have come down a bit, because mm -hmm. the... Uh, the original, or the suggested retail price of this is $300, but I think this was about $129, or maybe even cheaper on sale at uh, Sur La Table. I don't think they have them at Amazon, though, looking at Amazon. Didn't, didn't we couldn't them, find it, right? yeah. So we're just going to do a, a, an unboxing and explain why you might want to use one of these. Do you have one of your own? I don't, but I'm just noticing on the side here, it has all the uses here, and it, if all these uses are, in fact, true, it, it is quite amazing. Everything from saute uh, to slow cooker, Rice cooker, steamer, food warmer, <laughs> pressure cooker, and yogurt maker. Yeah, I think these are, might be the two that we use the most. I use a, a pressure cooker. One of our other videos is on how to make a easy pulled pork, which we do in a, a pressure cooker. Okay. But a pressure cooker will save you time if you're doing a roast or um, pulled pork or something like that. You can cut the, the cooking time from like three hours down to 45 minutes. Okay. So really... You know, yeah, if it works, works. It, and if it works well as a rice cooker as well, then I'd have to say, you know, it could earn a space for you on your countertop because it's a multi-purpose thing and it, you know, you could save right. a lot of space because it does so much. Yeah. One thing I'm noticing, if it does do yogurt, that means it has a cooling feature as well as a heating feature. I don't know if that's true because they, I think, at least the yogurt, the yogurt makers that I've seen are... They don't need a cooling. They, they, they uh, do the yogurt at a really a low temperature okay. over... A period of time. But anyway, we'll see if they have any information on that. So, taking a look inside. Let's see. It looks like a bunch of, there's a cord. And uh, right away, just get right into it. There's not, a, I, don't think, I don't know if there's a lot of uh, accessories. No, that's it. That's it. Yeah. So it looks like it's uh, very sturdy. It does. It's, uh, it's heavy. Yeah, a lot heavier solid. than a uh, lot heavier solid. than a uh, rice cooker. <laughs> could be fifteen pounds. This thing. Yeah. Yeah, 20, maybe fifteen, twenty pounds. It's, it's substantial. Yeah. Yeah. So my first impression is that it seems to be very solidly made. So you've got a uh, an instruction book. Uh, just looks like the basics on how how it works. You've got a recipe book, the fourth edition. Okay. So you've got the fish curry, quinoa, various. You got the desserts, the cheesecake, they get cheesecake mm -hmm. creme brulee. Wow, there's got a lot of stuff in here. A little cheesecake pork cake and a thing like that. I don't know. Strange. Oh, okay. There we go. Just got the. Well, if it's got a, if it's a pressure cooker, it's got to be super, uh, super tight seal. Yes. Well, it looks like there are some. Uh, we, we spoke too fast. There are a few. Yeah. A few things looks inside. Like, um, a mixing spoon. You want to open it up? Yeah. yeah. I think all you might your head may be above the, above the frame. Uh, there is a cheese cake wire mesh thing. Like a, yeah. So this looks like a this looks like a rice spoon. Huh? Mm -hmm. I don't know what you would do with a measuring, with cup. measuring cup. You got a ladle. I mean, for most most households, I think you're going to have these anyway. They're probably plastic, so you don't scratch the insides. Mm -hmm. And let's see if we can get an answer on the uh, the yogurt since that is the okay. So this is the uh, interior pot here. Yeah. So yogurt. Um, It's uh, yeah, just it's basically that just keeps it on a low heat. Okay. For um, well, prep time. How do I know about making yogurt? I guess after you make it, it needs to be cool, but right. making it involves heat. Yeah. Okay. Keep warm for 15 minutes and let the pressure cooker with cover and stand for 10 hours. So that's that's the thing is that you're you're basically cooking cooking the milk for a, a long period of time overnight. I've seen those in, in France. They a lot of families have these, and they're little they little thing that sits on the counter, and they're, and they're making their own yogurt. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they say it's really good, so we'll give yeah. that a try. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's uh, that's it. It's the Instant Pot. Uh, hundred and what did I say? Hundred twenty nine dollars on Sterling Tahoe, I believe. And you may be able to get that cheaper depending on sale. It sounds like the prices have come down a bit. At some future date, after we've given it a try, maybe made some yogurt uh, or a or a hearty stew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we make a lot of. I make a it's lot of stews. Getting close to dinner time, so yeah, I'm in right. the mood for a stew. <laughs> we will do a, another review where we we review it rather than unbox it. So again, PaulBanksWithGreatDad.com. He's Al Wong, and we will see you next time.